Hey everybody, welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code problem. 541 reverse a string 2 we have already done reverse string. So given a string S and an integer K reverse the first K characters for every two K characters continuing from the counting from the start of the string. If there are fewer than K characters left, reverse all of them. And if there are less than 2k but greater than k, reverse the first k and leave the other as original. So if we have a, b, c, d, e, f, g and a k2, what they are saying is just to reverse the first two, then leave the second, the next two and reverse the next uh, two and leave the next two as they are. So this will be our, you can say, the return output. So if k is greater than or equal to the length of s then we know that we are going to reverse the whole string so we will just do it like this so this is done now we will be making a list just to make things easier for us so l will be s will, will be now a list so i in range will be starting from 0 till the length of s and skipping 2k characters at a time and just taking the k characters and reversing them skipping two k's and just taking the k characters and reversing them so this is it like slicing like i plus k and now we will just do like i i plus k and we have to reverse it so let's reverse it like this okay this is done after that we can just return string by joining it to our s so that's it let's see if this works this works and let's submit it okay so at first we are going to have i as 0 so a b c d e f g okay this is done now the s will be starting from 0 till because the value of k is 2 just for our you can say our default condition so let me just write it down k is equal to 2 so the first two characters are going to be reversed p a okay in the next iteration it will be starting from 4 because we multiplied 2 by 2 so the next 4 uh, will be we are skipping like the four characters but we'll be uh, taking the first two characters like i said skipping two k's and reversing the k's so now a b uh, it is like b a and c d and e g e f g okay so the k is still 2 here k is k is always 2 like in the base condition so now we will be starting from 4 because i is 4 and 2 to adding it to 4 will become 6 and which means we are going to reverse like f e and after that our you can say our loop is done we are not going to do another iteration so our output will be just like b a c d f e g b a c d s and that's it